Hey there, Tennessee Titans fans. Welcome to another episode of Tennessee Titans NFL Training Camp Previews. Today, I will be breaking down the inside linebackers, and this one's a, a, the most crucial because the inside linebackers are at the weakest, I think. Because, whew, let's face it, we already know our starters. Any chance we could have brought KJ Wright in or bring back Will Compton? Well, I guess that KJ Wright's out of the question because Richard Sherman got himself arrested. So there's no doubt Seattle's going to pick KJ Wright over Richard Sherman. But but is there any chance Will Compton comes back? Because we were because we've been relying on him for the past two years. But anyways, yeah, let's get down to business. Let's break down these four starters. Let's start off with the guy we brought back, Jayon Brown. That's right, we brought Jayon Brown. Jayon Brown's been with us for a while. And we brought him back for one more year. Two voidable years, in addition, to be precise. <sighs> if only we had him for the re in that wild card game. But instead, we lose... We lose him to the same team that we lost to in the wild card round. Curse you, Ravens! But still, you can't exactly blame the guy for getting for getting injured. It was just too bad, though. Though I guess victory comes with a price. Also, also starter number two, Rashad Evans. Yeah. Ever since he came onto the team, guys not look too good. I mean, quite seriously, we drafted him at number 22 a few years back. Has done a tiny bit, to be precise. Yikes. I, which could put him on the trade, the trade mark, on the trade market if... These two linebackers step up. And that and the first the first one is David Long Jr., who not only took over, who, who not only stole some spotlight time from Rashad Evans, and but he's quite the talented linebacker to be precise. Whew. So David Long Jr. could snatch it away from Rashad Evans. Also joining us is. Monty Rice, linebacker from Georgia. Only problem is, he hasn't signed his contract. We got this guy in the with one of our third round draft picks, one of which we traded down with the Green Bay Packers, and the Packers ended up taking a receiver before us. <sighs> and we used their, their pick to drop Monty Rice. <sighs> Speaking of Monty Rice, we finally got the word on what the actual hell is wrong with his and Elijah Moulton's contracts? Whew. Man. You see, there there have been some problems with not only them, but over 20 third round draft picks. So Titans aren't the only ones that are having this problem, and it's quite simple. Players wanted a fully compensated four-year deal. And I'm pretty sure Titans obviously couldn't afford it at the time. And don't forget, Elijah Molden and Monty Rice aren't the only ones. There have been over 20 players that have the exact same problem. Titans aren't the only ones that are having this issue. Glad we... Mystery of Elijah Molden and Monty Rice's problems are solved. And you already know the starters for the linebackers. Jayon Brown, Rashad Evans, David Long Jr., and Monty Rice. That is unless Monty Rice doesn't get signed. To tell the truth, we could be heading into the trade deadline in the linebacker department either way, because if David Long Jr. and Monty Rice do well, then you know, know what that means. David... Long plus Monty Rice equals bye bye Rashad Evans. <sighs> anyway, see you tonight bringing even more breaking news. Tighten up.